We are almost a year at the year mark of when the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic, which canceled traditional St. Patrick's Day festivities. This year, health experts hope residents don't let their guard down for this St. Patrick's Day. The CDC is advising against attending large gatherings once again. An OSF chief medical officer shares that Americans are feeling pandemic fatigue and plan to celebrate the day somehow. Just because you're fatigued doesn't change how the virus behaves. The virus is going to do what it does, whether you're fatigued from the pandemic or not. So please continue to gather in small groups to discourage the spread. Please continue to wash your hands, keep your distance, wear your masks. Dr. Walsh says if all of those practices remain in place, the end of the pandemic could come sooner. A state line tradition is taking on a new path. Ari Bruckman shares how residents can be part of this year's St. Patrick's Day drive-by parade. It's important to the people uh, of Rockford that have done a historic, traditional St. Patty's parade for 45 years. As a result of the pandemic, St. Patrick's Day festivities won't include the traditional marching parade or Patty Fest. This year, the Irish Marching Society wants local residents to decorate their vehicles and drive in a ride-along celebration through Rockford. The Jeep Club already has about 80 Jeeps committed. I know for sure the Wolf Pack, that's the, uh, the kilt-riding motorcycle guys, they're going to do that. I think the Model A Club is going to join us too, so this could be a, you know, it could be a sizable event. With St. Patrick's Day festivities limited, Jared Hennis and Shelby Starr are trying to find other ways to make up for lost revenue. St. Patrick's would have been, you know, a big day for us. Um, normally we see the months of like January, February, things are kind of slower at following the holidays. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day is, you know, always a big selling day for us. Um, we normally have our free print day that lands on the day of the parade and, and all the festivities. I think now it's just, you know, still pivoting and, and still figuring out the next thing to get people in. For those worried about the parade festivities in years to come, McDade says, this isn't going to be a typical St. Patty's Day celebration but he has something brewing for the near future. It's two years now we've been skunked, but um, think about a halfway to St. Patty's Day slash Labor Day event. Reporting in Rockford, for your home team, I'm Ari Bruckman.